This is Main Street, Weboka, Oklahoma, on a Saturday afternoon. A vastly different place than when I was living here. Weboka is like many towns across our country trying to reinvent themselves and survive in a rapidly changing environment. This Cousin Dan's uh, hardware store sat on the right in that vacant lot. There's the old key theater. A town of about 15,000 in the 50s that has experienced an almost steady decline to about 3,500 today. Big buck stores have been blamed for a lot of it. When I was a child, I remember people standing outside the jewelry store listening to Art Linkletter hosting This Is Your Life. This red building on the right was the Masonic Lodge when I was a kid. Cousin Carrie bought that building last year and it now houses her insurance business. Let's go back the other way on Main Street. The old Aldrich Hotel sits on the right. It has just been uh, converted to an apartment building the few projects I saw here. On the left is the Masonic Lodge again. On the right here, this red and white building with the big tree in front, that's the whipping tree. Hasn't been in use for many years, thankfully. But that's the old courthouse. Weevoke is the county seat of Seminole County. Building on the left was an old bank. Island Railroad Station sits at the end of the street. The building was sold at one time, but the city later reacquired it. We woke up during the oil beam. It was a major rail hub. The railroad sidings and yard were, were called collectively the We Woke a Switch, where trains were taken apart and reassembled for various destinations. I don't have time to go into it, but you should look up the term. A fascinating story. When I was small, I remember Harry Truman speaking from the back of the train during his campaign for the presidency. 
I've included an old photo to show what it looked like. No trains run through Iwoka anymore. The old Thurston Saran hardware is where my dad worked prior to World War II. That sign, interestingly enough, wasn't even available. I mean, you couldn't see it for years and years. Finally, the paint wore off it and you could see it. Somebody is elected to keep it there. Too much of history is being lost in this town, as many others. Mm -hmm. 